com. And it is a uh, Friday morning. No, it's not a Friday morning, is it? No, it's a Wednesday morning. Gosh. All right. Well, let's get rolling here because I'm, I'm really excited to talk to our first responder of the month presented by Rosebud Mining. Uh, this is, I think, the third of our first responders of the month since we began this program. There are so many of you who have responded, literally hundreds of names submitted. And the name we draw this month is, is that of Kelsey Trunzo who joins us this morning in our studio, our conversation brought to you by Marcus and Mac voted best personal injury law firm in the best of Indiana County contest. Marcus and Mac, a law firm representing injured people. Good morning. Good morning. It's good to have you with us here this morning as we talk about the first responder of the month and the fact that you're it. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. (laughs) What did you think when you heard that? I was, so actually I was, you know, midair whenever I found out the news and I was like, oh, okay, that's awesome. I thought I would be the last person to get this. Now, you're going to have to explain that. Uh, I was midair. What, so, whatever does that mean? I am a flight nurse. Yeah. Um, I, it's been my dream for I have no idea how long since mm-hmm. I started at the fire department. Um, so I got the text message, and just it just really surprised me. <laughs> Well, let's let's set the context here. You are a member of the Creekside Fire yes, Department. I am. You're a graduate of what school? Marion Center. A Marion yes. Center graduate. And uh, you became a flight nurse. Now, how long have you been with the fire company? I have been with the fire department for 13 years. 13 yes. years. And uh, when you began with the fire company, it obviously wasn't as a flight nurse. You had to work your way to that, <laughs> oh, yes. didn't you? Yeah. So you tell me about that whole process. So um, it's taken me about... 10 years Mm -hmm. uh, worth of education to get where I'm at. Um, I got the experience with the fire department and then decided I wanted to become an EMT. Mm -hmm. So I went and did that. Um, In an EMT class, they take you um, to go take a peek at life flight. Yeah. And when I was there, I was like, you know, this is cool. This is, this is what I want to do. So um, got my EMT cert, went to IUP for a little bit. Um, and then I went to Conma for nursing school. Mm-hmm. Got about I have about five years of nursing experience. So, uh, being a flight nurse, they require you to have so much time in the emergency room ICU. Mm-hmm. Um, so I went and did that. Got my what's called pre-hospital registered nurse, um, which is basically the way our state works. Um, my RN I can't use out in the field. On an ambulance, okay. so I had to get my pre-hospital registered nurse, which is basically like being a paramedic. Yeah. Well, so. there's so many, you know, and every state I know is different, mm-hmm. uh, and Pennsylvania has its own regulations, mm-hmm. uh, but the bottom line is it requires a tremendous amount of training and dedication, mm-hmm. uh, and, and it requires the support of your entire fire company, and yes. I know you want to brag up on the <laughs> Creekside Fire Department, right? They've been amazing, honestly. They're like my second family. Yeah. Yeah, uh, a whole good group mm-hmm. of people, and and because of what uh, they have been able to help you do, here you sit today, and uh, and you've been a flight nurse for how long? So I just started in July. Just in July. Yeah, I just started in July. Wow. <laughs> now, how how many times have you been up? Um, a lot. Um, I don't remember. They told me how many missions I have. I don't mm-hmm. remember off the top of my head, but. I've I've been doing a lot of flying over the past yeah. couple of months. <laughs> yeah, and obviously it's it's much different than uh, than what you would be doing uh, in a normal mm-hmm. what you would call a normal nursing setting. Yes. Uh, you're talking uh, generally with trauma victims, right? Just actually everything. Yeah, you can get a lot of everything. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. We go. We can do hospital, hospital. Mm-hmm. Go out in the middle of nowhere and go to a hospital. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's an interesting aspect of it all because when when you are functioning as as a flight nurse, um, you're taking off. Uh, you're based where at the hospital? So um, I've been doing a lot of flying out of Catanning uh-huh. in Greensburg. Um, so that's where I'm with Stat Medivac. So they're a different company than Life Flight is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But but you're <laughs> so you're there. Uh, mm-hmm. And but at the same time, you're you're still a member of the Creekside Fire mm-hmm. Department. Yeah, wow, <laughs> what a life! Do you have time for any other thing? I do sometimes. And you, <laughs> you do. <laughs> hey, you were telling me uh, your grandmother is, yes. is a just a, a a cool lady and and someone that uh, really means a lot to you. She she does. I love her to death. Mm-hmm. Um, 
So whenever she told me this story, whenever I told her I wanted to become a nurse, and especially when I told her I wanted to become a flight nurse, and it'll stick with me forever. She, I there's four grandchildren, mm-hmm. and whenever I was little, she said that she hopes one of us becomes a nurse. And my response was, no, Graham, that's too much yucky stuff. So now here I am, a flight nurse. <laughs> All that yucky stuff. I know. All that yucky. Yeah, and she just lives up the street here, Yeah, right? she lives just right up the street. Yeah, yeah. And, and her name is Peggy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hi, Peggy. <laughs> How proud are you of your granddaughter, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, it's just a wonderful story. Uh, and, and the fact that you continue to work uh, as a firefighter, uh, while you're also a flight nurse, uh, it, it's a really special community, mm. isn't it? The firefighting it community. It, it truly is. Yeah. Down through the years, of course, uh, you've been there for 13 years. Uh, you probably have seen some things that uh, most of us will never want to see. And, uh, 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 and they are unfortunate. But uh, you and everybody else in the firefighting community, and I know the Creekside Fire Department, uh, you know, those guys are they're out all the time. Yes. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's really fascinating to see that there are people in our society that are willing to do that mm-hmm. and on a volunteer basis, uh, for their friends and neighbors. Uh, yeah, it's, it's truly amazing. Um, just not only in the fire service, but I've worked in EMS, you know, working as a nurse, working for stat medevac, everybody is truly phenomenal. And everybody is there for each other, and that's how we get through it. Where did that originate in you? Is it something that your family has done or that you had friends who did? So, no. Um, I ended up joining one day. I was, I believe I was 14. I just wanted something to do, and my neighbor came over and was like, hey, you want to go down to the fire hall with us? I was like, sure, let's go. And <laughs> here I am 13 years later. <laughs> hey, do you want to go down to the fire hall? Yeah. <laughs> What a that's amazing. <laughs> that's amazing. And you end up here. Mm-hmm. Here oh, I am. That is it determined so, the rest of my life. <laughs> so much. Well, it, it really did, yes. didn't it? <laughs> yeah. That whole training process you, that you were talking about, um, the education of it all, uh, and, and the fact that it is such a, it's a high pressure environment, it isn't is. it? It really is. Yeah. And so for you, I, did you fly through it? I'm, that's a little play on words. <laughs> is, is it something that came easily to you? Um, kind of, uh, because I was, you know, I'm very, very interested in it. Mm -hmm. Um, but a lot of it does take some work to understand. Yeah. Just as it is a lot of information to take in. Uh, and in a, in a helicopter situation, uh, it's not as if you have all kinds of elbow room to move around. No, you don't. Everything is extremely compact. Uh, and you've got the, the patient themselves Mm -hmm. and and you you probably have one or two other folks there Mm -hmm. working with you in that setting Uh, at the same time you're coordinating with whatever hospital you're bound for uh and uh, just the pressure of it all it's it's amazing you have to know your stuff to be up there (laughs) yeah yeah you really have to know your stuff and you have to be confident Mm -hmm. yeah and you are well i'm going to ask mark (laughs) birdie to come over and mark i'm going to hand this to you and you're going to present it to kelsey uh, and uh, unlike last month, we actually spelled the name right on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, uh, and so this is a really special time for us. Rosebud Mining uh, is uh, why we're able to do this. Rosebud Mining is the presenting sponsor of our first responder of the month. And, uh, Mark, this certainly is a, a, a great occasion when we get to meet Kelsey. It sure is. She's our third recipient, right, Paul? And um, what a story. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've been on one of those helicopter rides. Uh, uh, I don't remember much about it, but I am certainly grateful um, uh, post-heart attack, uh, Kelsey. So uh, for you and everybody that does what you do, which, well, I'll tell you what, as uh, diverse as uh, you've been and as many things as you've been involved with, I don't think they're, that's a, a super large group because you've really broadened uh, uh, the scope uh, of this award that we are presenting as our first responder of the month uh, to Kelsey Trenzo, Creekside Volunteer Fire Department, Citizens Ambulance, and in recognition of your dedicated service and commitment to the community, on behalf of Renda Media and Rosebud Mining, I'd like to present this plaque to you. Thank you. And there's Mark and uh, Kelsey, and you can look at our Facebook folks there, and uh, why don't you hold that up for (laughs) Kelsey? There you go. 
There you go. There you go. Everybody on Facebook now can see it. Uh, and, and Kelsey Trunzo is uh, certainly more than deserving of this. Uh, and, and Kelsey, you represent a whole community of first responders. Mm-hmm. Uh, it takes a special person to be a first responder, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. So many people who mm-hmm. are who are willing to stand up there for us and for folks who want to nominate somebody to be the first responder of the month. As I said, there are lots and lots of folks, probably a couple of hundred on that list now of people who have been nominated and every single one of them is deserving. I'm glad that you, we were able to meet you though today. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. It's good to have you with us. It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160 and WCCSradio.com. 22 and a half after nine o'clock CBS sports minute coming up a couple of moments away from now. And we want to get to this morning's money matters report with the market scheduled to open in another six.